I don't plan on stopping watching anime, and first anime crush would definitely have to be Katsuki Bakugo. <laughs> Hey everybody, it's Jessie Anime, and today I'm going to be giving some recommendations of anime that you can watch during this stay at home, lockdown, quarantine thingamajig that we're all going through right now. Uh, so the first one, I'm gonna go by genre. So if you like like a light-hearted shonen, which if you don't know what shonen is, it's like an action or so anime starring a young male character. Um, and uh, obviously, <laughs> my lighthearted shonen recommendation would be My Hero Academia, because if you've been watching this channel at all, you know it's almost impossible for me to go an entire video without mentioning My Hero Academia, because it is my favorite anime of all time, forever! I love it! If you're looking for a more dark shonen with a lot of death and action and very intense scenes, then I would recommend Attack on Titan. Uh, it is really good. It's had three seasons so far. Its final season is supposed to premiere in October. I don't know if that's gonna change now because of everything going on in the world, but we'll see. It's very, very good. Levi Ackerman is a babe. He's one of my anime husbands. <laughs> so if you like stuff on the more darker apocalyptic feel, then I would definitely recommend Attack on Titan. If you're looking for a really, really funny, quirky, silly, romance-ish anime, I would definitely recommend Orin High School Host Club. Unfortunately, it came out in 2006, I think, and there's only been one season, so there's not really a hope for more. Uh, the, vol the manga, though, is a lot longer, and I've been reading it lately, and it's really fun, and it gives some more detail, and it goes obviously much farther than the anime ever did. So if you end up liking the anime, I would highly recommend reading the manga afterwards so you can get a closure and an ending to the story. If you're looking for a really adorable, wholesome romance, then I would recommend Ore Monogatari, My Love Story. It is a very kind of like unconventional romance. It plays on the idea of don't judge a book by its cover, things like that, and I love like unlikely pairings and uh, things like that. So if you're looking, it's super wholesome. It hasn't been sad. I'm, I'm not finished with it yet, I almost am. And nothing's been sad so far, it's just cute and wholesome. So if you're looking for some cute, wholesome romance to distract you, I definitely, definitely suggest that. But if you are someone who likes sad romantic drama, then, I, which I prefer most of the time, I don't know why, but I've always gravitated towards things that are a little more dramatic and sad. I don't know, but <laughs> if you're looking for that, I would definitely suggest Your Lie in April. Also, if you really like music, specifically violin and piano music, and sad romance drama, then I would definitely recommend Your Lie in April. And then a classic, classic romantic drama, which is one of my favorite animates, it's in my top 10, I would recommend Clannad, and Clannad After Story, which is the second season. It is so good. It is actually based off a dating sim game, but surprisingly, it was incredible and beautiful and heartbreaking and oh, I think about it all the time. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> if you are someone who likes to watch anime about food, which I know there are a lot of people that like food genres, like food related movies, food related TV shows, you know, all those cooking competition shows are popular for a reason, that I would suggest uh, Shokugeki no Soma, or Food Wars in English, which is about this uh, high school kid named Soma who goes to a very, very prestigious cooking school. And it's really fun because not only are the characters really fun and the competitions are exciting, but you actually get to learn a lot about food and cooking and I know absolutely nothing about food and cooking and now after watching it I feel like I know a little something, so that's fun. You get to watch something fun and learn a little something. If you're looking for horror, I would recommend Another, which is from years and years ago and it is, in my opinion, way too underrated. In my opinion, it's like one of the greatest horror anime of all time. It is so good. It's pretty short. It's like a one and done season thing. I think it's only like 13 or so episodes, but it is so good and it just ups the intensity with every episode and you're on the edge of your seat and I loved it so much. 
If you're looking for a horror that's longer and is continuing, I would suggest Promise Neverland. I'm not going to give away the plot whatsoever with that because it's better if you know nothing about it. And it also was one of the most popular animes of last year for a reason. So, and it also has a manga if you're impatient waiting for the second season, which unfortunately just got delayed to January when it was supposed to come out in October because of, you know, what's going on in the world right now. If you're looking for science fiction anime, which I really love, I would suggest this really underrated anime called Gargantia on the Virtuous Planet. It, the title's a little weird, I know, but it is really, really good. It's a short one and done anime. It has um, several like hour or so long OVAs to add on to the story later on, which is really nice. But it's basically about this guy whose spaceship or whatever you want to call it, <laughs> I'm not going to spoil it, uh, falls down to earth on this, uh, ship and basically is about the coming together of these two worlds. And I'm not going to give anything else away because spoilers, but it's really, really good. But my favorite science fiction anime of all time, it will always be my favorite. And if you love time travel, this is for you, Steins Gate. It is an incredible anime. I think about it all the time. It is so freaking good. Do not watch the second season though. Only the first. <laughs> Steins Gate Zero came out, the second season came out years after the first and it isn't even really, it's not even in the same timeline as the first season, so mm, But Steins Gate, the first season is its own complete story. There's even a movie afterwards. And it is really, really good, and I highly, highly, highly suggest it, especially if you like time travel. Now, if you're more into the mystery thriller genre, then I would suggest the classic Death Note. Uh, if you don't know what Death Note is, which I don't know how that's possible at this point, basically this high school boy named Light Yagami finds this notebook that if you write someone's name with their face in mind, they will die of a heart attack. It gets way more complicated from there, but that is the gist of it. <laughs> now, if you like the isekai genre, which if you don't know what isekai is, is basically another world where a character goes to another world, which surprisingly uh, happens all the time in anime. There's a lot of isekais that come out every year, but I would suggest ReZero, which I'm sure you've heard of because it was probably the most famous isekai in 2016. Um, it's about this um, an 18, 19 year old named Subaru who winds up in this other world and he keeps uh, dying over and over again and going back and reliving the same day and it gets more complicated from there. And then another one which is more recent is Rising of the Shield Hero, which if you're into a more uh, medieval fantasy vibe, like there is medieval fantasy vibe in ReZero but it's even more so, I feel, in Shield Hero uh, with the swords and the shields and all that stuff. It's really cool, and I highly, highly suggest it. Again, it's about, I think he's an adult. I can't remember at this point, but he ends up in another world and is the Shield Hero and has to fight this apocalyptic fight, and I won't spoil it anymore from that, but it is really, really good. If you like Yaoi, which if you don't know what Yaoi means, it's boy, boy, love. So an LGBT themed anime that I would suggest Banana Fish. It is also like a shonen and it has lots of action and there's like true crime stuff in it. Well, not true crime because it's made up, but crime in it. So if you're into any of those things, I would highly, highly suggest it. I love it. It's really good. If you're looking for a super classic, classic anime, I would suggest The Melancholy of Haruhi Suzumiya. I'm literally not gonna explain anything about it really, except for Haruhi basically starts a club for basically hunting the supernatural slash paranormal, but not really hunting, more just discovering. But if I give anything else away, it's gonna spoil it, but it was really enjoyable. It is a classic for a reason. It's really, really good, so I would suggest that. Now, one of the genres in anime that I am really, really obsessed with is stuff about the afterlife. And obviously, because two of my top five animes are about the afterlife. And so my afterlife genre recommendations would be Angel Beats 
and Death Parade. Now, Angel Beats is about someone who goes to the afterlife and meets this person nicknamed Angel, and there's lots of music involved, and I'm not going to spoil it any further because it curves the enjoyment of it, but it's definitely, in my opinion, one of the best animes of all time, and I definitely think you should watch it. And then my next one is about the afterlife is Death Parade, and it is about this world where once you die, you go to this place that kind of looks like a bar, and you meet this guy named Deckham, and he's an arbiter of death, and basically his job is to, two people at a time, his specialty is people who died at the same time, each bartender has own specialty or whatever, but his job is to, while making you play various different games like darts and poker, things like that, his job is to, based on your memories, what you've done in the past, and the kind of level of humanity you use in the game, depends on where you go afterwards. You will either go, uh, you get to reincarnate and have another life again, or you go into the void where your soul basically floats into nothingness forever. So his job and all the Arbiter's jobs is to judge whether or not you deserve to be reincarnated or put in the void. And it's a one and done, very short anime, and so is Angel Beats, but they're both so freaking good and managed to get such an amazing story in a very short amount of episodes. And if you like anything about the afterlife at all, I would definitely, definitely suggest it. Now, I could go on and on and on because there's several other anime I could have put on this list, but I've given you a lot, so if you haven't seen any of these, uh, I would highly suggest all of them. I, I thought it was important to categorize them into different genres as different people like different things with anime, just like people like different genres of books and TV and movies and all that. So I hope I've given you a lot of things to do during this kind of, not kind of, very stressful time. I will see you next week. Bye!